Alright, so I'm back at it again in here, giving you guys my thoughts and opinions overall on WWE Payback 2014 with my review and of course just watching Fallout as of right now too at the same time. And with that being said, I thought it was a good show and I wasn't expecting it to be that great, but overall, you know what, I did enjoy it for what it was. And uh, with that being said, getting right down into it with the pre-show match, we had El Torito and as well Horde Swaggo and as well with this having to be uh, the mask and as well uh, the loser gets their uh, head shaved and pretty much we had El Torito get the win there and Horde Swaggo looking really awkwardly weird uh, having his head shaved bald but hopefully this feud comes to an end and uh, I think there's nothing else they can really do with this feud so I think it's done I think so anyway so uh, there you have it with that then the next match to start things off overall for the pay-per-view we had the US Championship on the line between Sheamus and as well as Zawa. I thought it was a good match and overall Sheamus was able to get his win and retain the US Championship and uh, I'm not too sure if this match and feud is going to continue or not into the next pay-per-view and kind of doubt it uh, we'll probably have uh, someone else go up against Sheamus and uh, we'll see what happens with that I don't know uh, really actually expect Sheamus to keep the US title any longer that's just me but uh, there you have it with that and then we have a surprise a tag team bonus match which I thought we were gonna have the tag team championships on the line but then we just had a regular tag team match where we had Ryback so and as well the Rhodes family go at it honestly I thought it was a great match from my personal view and opinion uh, but with that being said we had Ryback so actually defeating the Rhodes brothers and Cody Rhodes trying very desperately to try and get a win for his team and we've been seeing that little struggle lately and Cody Rhodes couldn't take it anymore and just basically leaving his brother Goldust behind and it looks like these two we might be seeing this actually a few get started probably uh, having Cody Rhodes go heel and everything and we'll see what the Rhodes brothers are going to be able to bring to us now as the summer really gets started so we'll see what happens with that should be interesting there and then we get into what was supposed to be uh, another bonus match. Well, actually, uh, I'll get right into the uh, Rusev and Zobigi match uh, that we did have. And surprisingly, that was short, too, uh, before I get into the other match. And uh, with that one, we did have Rusev being able to get the win there and be able to defeat Biggie. So uh, that was really cool, what we saw with the Spear 2 by Biggie. I thought that was really damn awesome there. Uh, so I'm sure this will probably continue. It's really nice to see someone go up against Rusev and give him some uh, good competition there. So maybe we'll get to see that more, I'm sure. Uh, then, of course, what was supposed to be the bonus match where we had, uh, where we were supposed to have Bo Dallas and as well Kofi Kingston go at it, but Kane was able to go out there and basically put a beating to Kofi Kingston. And basically what I got of it was Kane that... Uh, really happy about being in the main event, I'm sure, and being able to face Daniel Bryan since we were supposed to have that match. But of course, that match is now put on hold because of the whole surgery that Daniel Bryan had and everything like that. So it was just basically a beatdown. I kind of thought Bo Dallas was going to sneak himself a one, but we didn't really get to see that. So it is what it is there. And then we had the IC Championship, which was on the line, and we had Bad News Barry and as well Rob Van Dam. Great match. I thought it was really enjoyable there. And as well, Bad News Bear, of course, retaining and keeping his IC championship, so can't go wrong with that. And then we had the promo, which I thought, for me, you know, was kind of nerve-wracking, and I almost didn't want to watch it because I was that nervous of it, but I was able to suck it up. We had Daniel Bryan in this promo with Brie Bella and as well as Stephanie McMahon, and of course, uh, in the end, really, Brie Bella actually quitting instead of having Stephanie quitting uh, for Brie Bella there, having her quit and everything and firing her. Uh, so with that being said, Brie Bella able to save Daniel Bryan and as well, yes, he does get to keep the championship. So hopefully uh, he will still be champion most likely uh, for my show July 15th for the SmackDown taping there. So it would be really cool to at least see Daniel Bryan as champion. Hopefully, fingers crossed, things will still be able to be that way. So that was really cool and I thought it was great. So. Uh, I really enjoyed that slap too, but my uh, Brie Bella too, giving it to Stephanie McMahon. I thought that was really awesome. Uh, then we had the last man standing match, and I thought it was a great match here between John Cena and Bray Wyatt. They pretty much used it all. Of course, we saw the Wyatt family and the Usos there getting involved. Really awesome spots, especially with the tables and everything like that. So it was really uh, sick. Uh, just with the ending, I didn't really care for. Uh, 
in a way, it was like kind of like John Cena cheating, but uh, I'm not too sure if this is going to continue or not. I kind of doubt it. Uh, I think we might see different things going for John Cena and Bray Wyatt after this, but who knows? Uh, only time will tell. Uh, we've seen these two guards since WrestleMania, so I don't think they can really continue this, but uh, that remains to be seen. And of course, then we get into the Divas title match, and of course, uh, with the last match, John Cena was able to get the win with Bray Wyatt. Uh, but with the next match, we had the DOS Championship match. Uh, it was a pretty good match, and at least Paige was able to get a win and defeat Alicia Fox. So, a uh, pretty good match there, and I was happy that Paige was able to keep her title. And as well with the next match, which I thought was a great match, and which I thought it was really cool that we were able to see this as the main event, a six man elimination tag team match. Kind of like Survivor Series style, but of course, there was no holds barred, and they. Pretty much I uh, did everything and anything that they really could. Uh, we saw a lot of crazy, uh, insane spots, and it lasted a long time, too, before we could get any sort of eliminations, and the Shield actually getting what they want and actually uh, eliminating Batista first, then on to Red New York and getting Triple H last, and the Shield remaining on top, and they met business, as I mentioned on Twitter. Uh, so there you have it with that, the Shield getting their win, and uh, I think this is going to be uh, the final time that we'll get to see Blue Tista, a.k.a. <laughs> Batista. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. We'll probably see him uh, after a while, um, since he's going to be promoting his movie and everything. So uh, it'll probably be uh, like a couple of months, I think. I'm not really too sure exactly. Uh, so there you have it with that. Overall, I'll say a good pay-per-view. Uh, of course, leave your thoughts and opinions down below to you as well. And uh, with that being said, I will be back for, of course, the next pay-per-view for the predictions for Money in the Bank. Stay tuned for that for In the Hot Seat Live, which should be a good show. And uh, hopefully, guys, enjoy this show and the show and everything like that. So uh, with that being said, enjoy the rest of your night and as well the rest of your week. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next video, whatever the hell that may be. Peace.